Hello everyone, good morning. How you all doing? I hope you slept well. Praise the Lord. Welcome to another edition of Rhapsody of Realities. Today is uh, Tuesday 28th of February 2024. And today's topic is keep your faith active. Hallelujah. Keep your faith active. So before we start this beautiful morning, let's say prayer to the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We love you so much. Thank you for everything you've done in our lives. Thank you for the gift of life. We are not taking it for granted. Thank you, Father, for your protection, for your mercy that prevailed over judgment. Oh, we thank you for fighting our battles and we will our peace, O oh Lord. And thank you for this gathering because you made it possible. You kept us alive to see today. And Father, as we are about to study your word, O oh Lord, Father, we pray, O oh Lord, that you teach us your word because your word is wisdom, your word is knowledge, and your word is understanding, and your word is truth. And Father, as we meditate on your word this morning, we thank you for guidance to your word, for in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Once more, welcome to another edition of Rhapsody of Realities. Today is Tuesday 20th and today the topic is keep your faith active and if you look at on Monday pastor talked about the word of God uh, our words praise the Lord and today pastor is talking about faith because these two things these two things people gives you winning hallelujah in this world so it is very important so let's pay attention to today rhapsody of reality so let's go Hebrew 11 verse 6 says, But without faith it is impossible to please him, for he that cometh to him, he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that were diligently seeking. That's Hebrew 11 6. Everything in the kingdom of God operates by the principle of what? Faith. So, nurturing your faith is so important. Even for the rapture, your faith would be required required because not everyone will hear the sound of the trumpet the bible says in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump for the trumpet shall sound and the day shall be raised incorruptible and we shall be all changed first corinthians fifteen fifty two. the sound of the trumpet will be audible only to the christians who died in christ already and those alive at the time everybody else won't hear it because the sound of the trumpet would only be heard by faith but it is not something you are going to make an effort to hear because as a christian you already live what by faith everything about your life and your relationship with god is by faith therefore you are going to hear it the Bible says by faith Enoch was translated that he should not see death and was not found. That's Hebrew 11 verse 5. He was raptured by faith. So with your faith in Jesus Christ, you have nothing to worry about. Trust that when the trumpet sound, you're going to hear it. Every Christian ought to go at the rapture. It is therefore means that anyone who does it hasn't believing the life of faith and living up for the lord keep your faith alive and live for the masters every day walk in love and in righteousness focus on getting orders ready for the rapture and into the kingdom of god praise the lord what a wonderful topic keep your faith alive we all know as born again christians for those that can relate, we all know that faith is very important as a born again Christian. Hallelujah. And that is why this topic is very, very sensitive. It's very, very important. Praise the Lord. Without faith, you can do nothing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When you were born, you didn't see Jesus. You didn't even, see, you know, because some people, they believe that what they see, that is when they believe. But you never saw Jesus. You just heard about him. You heard about what, what transpired. Hallelujah. And you believe. That is faith. Because you didn't see it, but you just believe that. You just grow up and just, you know, believe that Jesus is there. God is there. And you just started going to church, believing. 
that is faith. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And that is what God works with. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Faith. David, when David challenged the Philistine, David never saw God. Praise the Lord. He never experienced God. Hallelujah. He never saw these miracles. What we saw today, what we heard, but then Jesus has not come. Remember, for David, he, he challenged the Philistines. He said, who is that uncircumcised? Because in David's mind, all he knew about God, that is he great. And he can't fathom the fact that just a man, human being is challenging, challenging God. And that is why God loved David. Praise to Lord. And David said, who is that uncircumcised Philistine that is insulting the children of God? So it's not about the stone. It's about the faith. That was what gave the stone power to be able to kill Goliath. So your faith is very, 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 very important. You must believe. When you read the scripture, believe it. If God said there is no barrenness, Believe it that you are fruitful. Even if you're getting to 70, 80, still believe it that you keep with this is not what God said. God said every woman will be fruitful. So I am part of that woman. I'm not a man. Why shouldn't I give birth? That is your faith. Follow it to the end. Praise the Lord. That is how you get your victory, people. And that is why faith is very, very important. And it comes with reading the word that has said, the word of God help you to know your inheritance. Then you believe and you keep, then you can never be cheated because now you know what God has said concerning you. I remember God is never a liar. Praise the Lord. God is not a liar. So if the scripture is saying that you're rich, that is who you are. All you have to do. So when you're seeing the signs that you're not seeing what you are expected, that is where your faith comes in. And you say, this is not me. No, the Bible said I am rich in Christ Jesus. That is why it is important to study the word of God because it builds 